what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are uh, feeling good. good. Today guys, we back again to meet with the guys in the same beautiful guest. My name is Devan. Welcome to the first place. Today we're going to be reacting to how and the Tate found Allah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the first time checking this out. Um, I know about Andrew Tate's is mm -hmm. he's really upspoken. Um, he brings his thoughts out every time. I do I enjoy his video and I was surprised to be a Muslim. So uh, this is how he found Allah. I chose to be a Muslim. I would love to watch this video. Yeah, nice. Um when I heard about him joining the Muslim, I was really shocked by that. Uh, I want to know how the journey, how it's happened. You know how to do it? So right over here tomorrow. Let's get into this video. Why did you convert? I said, I don't really think feel it as a conversion. I it's almost like I knew God was real and now I've become religious. And they say, well, you were religious before. I was like, religious before how? Christian? What does Christian mean? Like, who's not a Christian? You go to Christian nations and everyone says they're a Christian. Look how they live their lives. Go into the average church. Is anyone actually fearful of God? Anybody? Mm -hmm. No. The girls were out on Saturday night drinking and then they turn up to church because their parents made them. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, there's no substance to the religion. And also, Islam very closely reflects my personal beliefs. I, through my personal life, I've yeah. learned that if you don't have standards and you're not a strong person who's prepared to defend his ideas you'll be crushed yes. and we look at most religions in the world today which are not prepared to defend their ideas what's happened to them they're just getting crushed and now we have christianity as an idea which has basically said well we can't set any firm rules because everyone will just quit so instead let's make it so easy to be a christian that nobody has to put any effort in yeah. and then accept everybody no matter what and hopefully we can keep the church doors open <laughs> That's not that's not yeah, God yeah. to me, you know. Yeah, yeah. God to me is is strong. God to me is something to be feared. Yeah. God to me is something someone that people are afraid to mock. Yeah. God to me is someone that you have to go out of your way to prove something to. God to me has red lines. Yeah. Like God to me re represents the Islamic faith. The Christian God to me, I don't see God. I, I can't explain. I don't see anything there. So yeah. to me, it was it was the only logical choice wow. in the end. <laughs> Fa 
الفصل الذي كنتم به تكذبون احشر الذين ظلموا ازواجهم وما كانوا يعبدون من دون الله فاهدوهم الى صراط الجحيم وقفوهم انهم مسؤولون Okay. Andrew Tate makes some points there. But I feel like um it's kinda of like following the wrong pattern. I don't know if you under, really understand what Christianity means. For me, he was getting it all wrong. For me, he's observing people's life and feeling like they don't hear God. So I think people who he's around and what he's seen got him misjudged in some way. Truth be told, Everyone know um, Muslim have some respect after the seventh and some this China, and uh, so kind of like big fear for who God is, and I truly admire that. So himself saying, if you like, we Christians don't fear God enough, and the way we practice it's not actually fearful. Because that is his right word he was saying right there. He was not. They feel like Christians are more mindful or not fearful of the God we serve. But I think he's getting it all wrong for because of the people who he see or who is around that are not fearful of God. He must say I'm very fearful of God, that's so certain things I won't do. We know we Christians believe God is all merciful. Um we believe we when we pray, we ask for forgiveness, he forgives us. That God is all merciful. So whenever you commit um a sacred thing or a one of things, you quickly go and pray and ask God for forgiveness. With your entire heart, sincerely, I ask for forgiveness. But that does not justify us going wrong every time. Him joining Muslim is his own choice, and he very is it a good decision? Um, he knows best because it's his own um, decision he made. I feel like he has seen how Muslim art, and he admires it. Um, that one what make him join the religion, and it's really it's good. It's what if you feel he made the right decision, that's good. And I admire him. I really do like this man. Sometimes when he says some certain words online, I'll be like, well, his masculine, his masculine attitude, I admire it a lot. And how he feel like um, men are being treated poorly in society sometimes. I really do admire it. And him joining Muslim, it was a shock to me. Now, but now I see his point of view and I respect his decision. From 100% respect his decision. So what do you think? I feel it's unnecessary to bash another religion for the sake of the religion you're in. Um, I thought when we would see this video, it would be about him talking about the peace or his experience being a Muslim. Mm. So I never knew he's going to bash out Christianity because he echoed Christianity and he said that he does not see the God or something like that. I feel mm. it's very disrespectful as a Christian for someone to echo your, my own religion because I won't go out of my way to do that about Islam because I respect the religion, I respect the people. So him equating Christianity is very disrespectful. Because you don't believe in me it does not mean others don't. And if you pick out, uh, let me say, the 10% of people that go out of their way of dancing in club, doing other things, to generalize everyone in Christianity, then you're being biased because you can't just quote everybody just by what you've seen. That is just your own perception. That is just what you have been around. But that is not the general concept of it. So Christianity is, is different. Uh, normally people say people do different things. So it's, it's a normal thing. People do it in every religion. People go out of the way to disrespect what have already been said. Yeah, that's true. Then people come back, beg for forgiveness and stuff like that and come back to where they have been from. So if you use the um, temptation people are for against to give yourself a reason for living religion. That's your reason. That's your business. But you can't use it to make the whole religion as a whole seem fake because you equated Christianity and I feel that's not the point of view. The video is about how Andrew Tate found Islam um, Allah. You're finding Allah and, you're, and you bashing Christianity. I don't think it relates. Because Christianity is a whole religion on its own. 
So if you find Allah goes for you, you find the faith that you are safe, you find peace. I'm happy for you. I don't need to modificate anyone for joining any religion, but you coming out to bash. I don't know if you was a Christian before, but you coming out to bash Christianity is very, very unnecessary. I was expecting him to talk about Islam, to talk about the peace, because he talk about yeah, God being fearful and stuff. But I was expecting him to talk more about Islam than concentrate more about Christianity. Yeah. And so you made the point very right there. Because it's people who he have seen and that doesn't mean they have to like bash Christians. Yeah, like. it's I think it's it's uncalled for and too. Um, I doubt Christians will go out of their way. Like, let me say, Muslims will turn into Christian. will just come out and be saying ill things about it. It's like, I feel you should have respect for the religion, despite the fact that you don't believe in it. You should respect them, respect the people that are in that religion, respect the people that believe. Because that's a faith, that's a belief. So if I'm to be the one making this video and I'm bashing Islam, how would they feel? It's very offensive because that's your own belief and someone is saying it as if, it's useless, it does not mean anything. It's very, very offensive. And if it does not see offensive that, then I I don't know what is doing. That's true. Guys, give us a thumbs up, share this video, tell us many can give us your thoughts, comment down below, guys. Definitely gonna read your comments, guys. Now we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay. Safe. I just bought a bag like a old lady. I'm back wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed I got scales all